Uh, I'm down in the uh, 10 RB today to do a anti-freeze check and uh, pumping some fuel into the tank because it's best to have a, the tank full than uh, get constant condensation in tanks so uh, she's working quite well bit of a workout on a nice sunny morning but uh, as winter approaches now you'll be uh, sort of just doing checks on my machines right, so look. oh she's nearly empty already it's five gallon one four gallon on it yeah, seems to be working fine this modification is far easier than Climbing onto the top of the bloody engine. Oh, right nearly there now. So basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bit of a run up on it. That's all. It's been a. I wanted to do a few things lately, but uh, other things has gone my way, which is a bit more important, to be honest. So. Uh, Can't be far full. You can hear it going in. See with the uh, idea of the stop cock there, it's it self primes. It will trap it'll trap fuel now between the that pipe, so it'll run back down into the pump, and it'll uh, self prime itself, you know. No, I'm starting to ache now. <laughs> oh, see how we doing. Oh, it's nearly empty. Here you are, it's full gallon. Nice bit of a workout on a Sunday morning anyway. I think that's it. Yes, the drum is empty. So I'll close this valve now. And obviously that'll maintain fuel. In the pipes will self prime from next time, so ooh. next thing now is to check anti freeze. Um, it's very frustrating to be honest because uh, with the cost of getting machines to shows and uh, lack of shows really in the area I'm trying to I'm going to try and sort something out next year but I, it's been far far too busy year this year to pursue what I'd like to do so um, that's it for now I've done uh, I'm getting too bloody old for this shit Ugh. See she's empty now. She put four gallon in there, no time. So uh let's do the other checks on the engine now. <sighs> 